So what we're gonna do today is look at making dados, rabbits, philisters, and grooves. I'll show you the, the bare bones way, using only the Semester One toolkit, using a saw, chisel, and a router plane, sometimes not even the router plane. Then I'll show you how some of these specialized tools can work and how you might think about adding them to your toolkit further on down the road. So, um, maybe halfway, maybe a little past halfway. And then I'll... Skewing the blade a little and kind of slice across the wood. Error in ending up with a bad fit. This allows is for me to work a saw across and the... Oh, excellent fit. So the wood's not gonna pop out quite as easily as it did when you were moving it across grain. Press the toe of the saw plate right up against that marking gauge. You've got a really good positive stop. Just lock it in your bench and I line it up so that the, the edge of the board is either slightly overheading the front of my bench or flush with the front of my bench. Plain away, referencing off that fence. And this cool. some side of the rabbit would be the stopped rabbit. And even more troublesome than that would be the completely captive rabbit, where we have stopped sections on both ends. I remove the outer edge. Because again, my, my blade Because it's really just a combination of the two. We're cutting along the grain just like a rabbit, so those shavings will peel back really nicely. Remove that hump and cut the surface of this groove. I can register the side of the blade just right up against the side of the groove that I've already dropped down using the chisel. Fine. You can see I came in and cut quite a few more relief curves down the center of that chunk. Because it's so wide, I'd be hesitant to try to chisel it out like this. So in this instance, I've sawn it when I chopped it out, but I have not sawn it. And I just come in until it hits the plug, and then just... Thank <laughs> you. 